Oh, oops. Hey, welcome to be back for another talk in Morticon. Uh, we've been talking about technical things quite a lot. This time I want to talk about open source and about contributing to open source as a company, as an individual, as a user, whatever. Um, this is a sponsored talk. So we have this slot before because we are a gold sponsor as Leuchtfeuer. So, but I don't want to make this in a commercial break. Instead, uh, I would like to show you a quick, uh, a quick video uh, with a walk through our offices. There we go. Hello. Today, I would like to take you on a tour through our offices at Leuchtfeuer Digital Marketing. As you may know, we are located in Hanover, Germany. There's a lot of room in this beautiful building. We are about 30 permanent employees today. We are Hello. looking to grow. Today, we need you. Like take you. If you are looking for permanent employment locally, if you are a freelancer, if you are remote, please do get in touch. Our clients are not only in Germany or in the or in the German-speaking countries, they are also in the EU and outside of the EU as well. Besides Mordic, we do web projects, mostly B2B, larger projects, based on another open source project named Hyper 3. In Mordic, we work for end users and for agencies, which makes a huge difference because we here have marketing agencies who are not technical and we are able to give them the peace of mind that they are looking for. Our services include not only projects and consulting, but also the technical parts, such as development of plugins or themes, or of course, supporting, which is really important. We also offer hosting, not as a SaaS service, but as a dedicated hosting, but with a package that gives the same level of comfort that a SaaS would give. So you don't have, don't have to care about anything. You have that fee, but it's still your own first party data, which makes a big difference in GDPR. For agencies that run their hosting at Leuchtfeuer, we also offer flat rate support plans, which makes it even more attractive and, and give you even more peace of mind. Clients also have access to our most advanced Nordic add-ons. We always offer them later on. We do believe in open source, but our clients will get early access. We also ask our clients to contribute anything that we developed for them, by the way. So we're at the end of the tour. Do get in touch. We are not a huge company, but a very dedicated and committed company. We are very personal. Uh, so yeah, reach out to me or to my colleagues. We are happy to help you out. Thank you very much. And there you go. Um, so much for the commercial break. And we can now move on to the meat of the fatter, meat of the fatter, meat of matter. Um, and that is helping Mordic in any possible way. The actual um, name of the topic was uh, 10 easy ways to support Mordic and why we do them all as a user or as an agency, by the way. So I'm organizing this in 10 different topics. They may or may not be the same that work for you, but this is what we do and love. First of all, and very importantly, spread the word. It's very important to let the world know about Mordic in every single form that can be spoken or written or video or whatever. Very importantly, in every language, every region of the world, we need to be present everywhere, not just focus on English. Basically, this is in line with, a, with you as a company, with what you as a company should do, and it is good for you. Keep in mind that we're not only talking about online, but also offline, like uh, trade shows, webinars, events, talks, etc., and of course, online postings in social media, on websites, etc. There's nothing wrong with branding all this. This is a repeating theme that branding and earning money with an open source project is completely 
okay and actually desired but because that is the only way how open source can work next up is create valuable content so not only say hey modic is great but but uh tutorials and other things like that and ideally not just the third rep repetition of the same thing but instead find a unique thing that has not been solved or not been explained or not been uh, brought to the newbies properly so close the gap solve a problem make the, the the ecosystem of modic a little bit better and of course talk about that too publish in your, all your own channels and feel free to share with the modic world and help modic gather more content and the knowledge base team will give you a backlink if it's good content and that makes you set yourself or your own site better on the other hand so it's a win-win like always helping others is really important at this stage not only by written content or uh, video tutorials but but reaching out to the beginners helping them get started answer the initial questions is pretty valuable let's them feel good and let, let's you do a good thing and connect to new people and grow your own community which will eventually help yourself um, you can also do that by answering questions online of course mostly in forums that modic or forum.modic.org but also in other places like facebook etc another good way of helping people is by pointing them to the right places like hey look at this knowledge base ar article this already answers your question or the same question has been asked asked here in the forum or in general please don't discuss this in linkedin but take it to the forum and get it solved there because that's where people expect it a specific thing of question um, is is issues problems suspected problems if you think you found one don't make it make it a secret or don't just complain but first of all tell the modic teams about it we can't fix what we don't know so before you even do that of course you should make sure that it is not a known issue maybe in a solved issue may well be it has been solved with the latest update so do the research online in the forums maybe even in github if you feel comfortable there and if you don't find the exact thing um, then create an issue in forums or github or if you find this thing but it's not yet been solved it's always valuable to have more people chime in and say hey same thing here or here's how to reproduce and things like that that's tremendously helpful to make modic a better product for issues like this do not use facebook do not use slack and, and other things but do report at the places where it, where it belongs and a little bit of a side note if you suspect any security implications that's a little bit special because we don't want security flaws out in the wild we never had a thing like that but eventually there will be a security issue like with any software and in that case please do by all means report that issue privately to the modic team and they will only publish publish this and give you credit once it has been fixed next up is a uh, contribute code um what does that mean it basically says if you already have some code in your drawer like um, here's a fix for an, an existing problem or here's a plugin that creates value to others as well then by all means consider making that public i know there are people who don't like doing uh, doing that for certain reasons but the default should be to make it public of course if it's a, a plugin that connects to your own homebrew op application then that's not going to be valuable for anybody except you but if it is something that somebody else could take any value from then we really ask you to be generous in and publish that means either 
release it on GitHub as a repository or as a PR, a pull request in GitHub. Or if you don't know how all that magic works, just tell somebody in the team and say, hey, here's some code that I did, or here's some code that I paid for. And uh, would you guys care to make it public for, public for Mautic? So publish what you have. It can also be a theme or something. It's always good. Even if it's not the perfect quality, it might eventually help somebody. So go ahead. Um, Now, looks like there has been no audio audio since we finished the commercial break. Hmm. That's too bad. So let me walk you through this again, and apologies for that. Oops. Okay, spreading the word. I. I I assume you already read read all the things that I said here. Um, spreading the word is one of the most central things because it gives Mordic visibility and power and SEO. And it can also help you, of course, to get SEO if you talk about relevant things. Um, that can be online. It can also be spread the word, word offline, like in trade shows or any other thought of, sort of events. Um, by all means, go out, talk to people in on all channels, do that branded, that's completely desired. This, that's how open source works, so that people connect an open source product with their own brand and their own, own paying the bills and making some money. Um, so don't be shy, but, but do spread the word about Mordic. Next up, valuable content, as in tutorials, written, spoken, video, whatever. Um, create stuff, put it out, and talk about it, of course, publish, promote in all the channels that you have. And at the same time, if you have an, if a good enough um, knowledge base article, we are very happy to publish it in the Mordic knowledge base and give you a backlink. And that way, everybody wins once again. Helping others, especially with the beginners, is very good in your local community. So reach out to people or help people who reach out to you in a user group, online, in your local language, Facebook group or whatever you have. Um, also, not, not not only locally, but in general, help people on forum.mordic.org by answering questions and um, maybe even on Facebook, but, but in some other channels, you may just help them by pointing them to the answer that has been given elsewhere or by pointing them to the right channels where that sort of questions is expected. If you think you found a problem, um, that's also extremely valuable to report that problem. Don't just be angry or be, be shy and silent or, or, or complain somewhere, but tell us, tell the Mordic team so we can fix what you found. If you even suspect what it is, the first thing you should do is, of course, verify that it is an actual problem. Um, the, the next thing is verify that it has not been solved before or um, at least reported before. If it has been reported but not yet solved, then it's also very valuable to chime in and say, yeah, same here, or here's how, how to reproduce. Um, so that's much more important than you think. So by all means, please report the bugs that you find on the rises, that's a forum, or if you feel technically confident uh, in GitHub, even better, but please not in Facebook, please not in LinkedIn or other places. If you think it's of security implications and it might harm others, that's a different story. Please report that privately to the Mordic teams. Um, we haven't had such a thing yet, but eventually there will be some security flaw. And in that, ca in that case, we don't want it to be out in the wild. We just want to be, know about it, fix it quickly, and then publish the fix and, and give you all the credit. So thanks for that. If you not only found, but fixed a problem, even more so, please do contribute back the fix that you have in form of a PR or whatever it is. Um, PR, by the way, is 
GitHub language, once again, it's a pull request. So it's a fixed or a change to existing code. Uh, if you are not confident doing that, if you just say, here's some code, but I don't know what to do it, do with it. I paid somebody, he gave it to me. Um, please sell, tell somebody in the team and say, hey, here's a fix. I don't know how to properly um, contribute it and, and people will help you out. Same with creating plugins. If you have a plugin that is of any value to other people, so if it's your homebrew, home, homebrew uh, application that is uh, attached to Mordic, it's probably not important to others, but if it's anything else, even themes, etc., please, by all means, make that public too. Um, same thing on GitHub, ideally, by opening up your repository or contributing to the Mordic core or whatever it is, or once again, tell the world and they will help you. One thing to keep in mind, if you publish code, there's also a bit of expectation that it's being maintained, like answers, questions answered or issues solved or uh, compatibility to the new Mordic version maintained and all that. Um, that's a bit of a burden and shies people away from, from publishing things. Make up your mind whether you want it to, to be under maintenance of yourself or not. If not, uh, put it out nonetheless and flag it as unmaintained. You may even reach out actively and ask whether somebody is willing and able to take over maintenance and then the world is a better place. Next level is joining a Mordic team and contributing on a regular basis. We have the five teams that you probably heard of. Um, it's described in uh, contribute.mordic.org. We also have new formats that we are introducing right here at the Mordicon, um, which are a little bit light, more lightweight. And um, th they all are very rewarding and also very important to the Mordic team because else um, it's not gonna, we're not going to move forward. So if you have the chance, give it a try. It's not a commitment. Uh, it's it's uh, always good to just sneak in and then listen and maybe try out a little bit and then decide whether that's for you or maybe something else. Um, maybe it's not for you or, or even if it is for you, you may still consider inspiring others like colleagues or others in your community. If you're an agency, um, it's it's very, very good idea to allow your employees to be part of teams within the working hours because that's helping Mordic and it makes your employees much, much better by giving new, imp new impressions, really good networking, etc. and a good dedication and fun as well. If you're not a permanent member of, of a team, you can still be helping out very, very importantly by testing code. Although we have a very, very good automated test coverage, we still need humans to do some, some level of testing. Also, other things like document, documentation or graphics design, uh, producing videos, helping with infrastructure, etc. There's always things that people in the teams can need help with um, even if, if it's not on a permanent basis. And then the other thing is local communities. Um, connecting with people new, near you, Mordic professionals near you is incredibly valuable. Many people think, oh, competition, why would I talk to them? Why would I tell them my secrets? Joining forces is the way to go, the markets are large enough, making Mordic better, making Mordic more successful in your market helps us all win and is much, much better than just living on little islands. Um, also, there may be non-permanent visitors to those local communities like new users who just have a handful of questions or want to get some idea. Uh, that's completely okay. Um, help them out as we discussed before. And don't be surprised if some of them do not come back after a month or two, 
especially with users that are not professionals, that are maybe sitting in a marketing uh, department or so, um, it is a bit of different dedication to, to the tool that they are using like once a day, but not 40 hours a week. Um, if there is no such thing in your region, if there's no existing or no active local community, we are in the process of having much, much more of them and do reach out to me or to the community team and we will connect you with others in the same situation in your region and that will help you to get started. And here's a specific thing. We did talk about um, donating or contributing plugins that you have anyway. Um, and this ties in to, um, to putting out plugins, maybe not even because the customer pays for it, but because you think it's valuable for you, for Mordic, uh, for your clients in the future, whatever. So creating plugins is a good idea to, to add new features. But there's another way, and that is integrating with third-party services. And um, those are typically paid services, but that, once again, doesn't matter at all as long as it makes Mordic better and, and solves an issue or solves something that people are looking for. By all means, go ahead and do, uh, do that integration. Um, you may even come up with, with your own service if there's no good or, um, or appropriate service out there, just do it yourself. Maybe that's another very good idea. So be creative there. Whatever makes Mordic a richer experience is very, very welcome. And finally, um, it's not all about money, but money is involved. Why would an open source project need money? Why would Mordic need money? Well, there are some costs like, like infrastructure, um, community organization, etc. Some of that is covered by Acquia at the moment, but of course we strive to get independent of that. And um, the more money we have as a Mordic community, the, the more we can make good use of it in helping the community grow or maybe even helping the, the product get better. So we can use all the money that we get we're not going to be greedy, but but we we are happy about every single contribution. So be a Mordic sponsor, ideally on an ongoing basis. There's um, GitHub and there is open. Oops, what's the what's the word? No, missing the word. Um, open Collective. That's right. Um, they both uh, in, in both we have Mordic sponsoring set up, so that's very welcome, and we'll always give you a shout out. If you are a Mordic sponsor for events like this Mordicon, it's no, it's a no brainer. And of course you get back value by, um, getting visibility, SEO, fame, appreciation, love, all that. There are other things where money is involved. And one of that is crowdfunding, which I think we should do much, much more. Uh, the point there is that somebody comes up with an idea, uh, initiative, initiative, maybe even, or some private idea and say, hey, I would like to implement this. Um, please, somebody chip in and we can get it done. If that is the case, then by like maybe like five people paying a little bit, then we can have another new feature for Mordic that makes everybody happy. And we have, if we see a lot of those crowdfundings will be much more happy, even faster. And then just a tip, if you are looking at an existing plugin or feature, uh, but you have some, some ideas about it or a certain need, why not reach, reach out to the author of that plugin and ask, ask them uh, whether they would be willing to implement the feature if you're willing to pay for it. Probably it's just a matter of a few hours maybe not maybe it's more but it may might be a really really uh low budget and in that case it's a very good solution that makes everybody happy once again so that brings me to the end of those two uh, 10 areas once again as as leuchtfeuer we are doing all of that uh, we did not discuss the details, you know that Leon and I are team leads. We are running 
or at least we're, we're heavily supporting the local community here in Germany. We have been to trade shows um, promoting Mordic explicitly. Um, we do a lot of things online. And of course, we contribute code in every way you can think of. So we think we are a pretty good citizen. We also do sponsoring uh, for Mordic or for the Mordicon. And that's why we have this slot, by the way. So besides being a good citizen, which we love to be, we are open source uh, centric, it's in our DNA and we want to do the right thing because we do believe that open source works. Why does it work? It makes the product better. And if the product is better, then it's better for us. Um, it, it also might makes us better because we learn a lot of things in doing community work or, or and contribution and connecting to other people, etc. It's it can't be paid for. It's much better than any uh, any commercial conference or things like that. Um, being relevant in the modic world is of course if is of course a thing. It is visibility. It helps our business. It helps uh, building connections and, and again, getting better all the time. And in the end, have more fun is a real thing. It is really what, what we do. It's um, not purchasing a product and using it. It is being part of a family, being angry, being happy, being excited, and being able to influence things. That's really motivating. And it's not only for me, but also to, to colleagues who find it much more relevant, um, who think it's it's better for the, their life, really. Um, so the end is that, that we don't have a turnover of, of people. People stay with us very, very long. It helps getting new people on board, etc. So I do believe strongly that, that open source works and uh, with Mordic, we are in a unique spot because there is no other relevant open source product there. Let's all work on leveraging the potential that is out there, make Mordic a huge success and big fun for all of us. Thank you very much. Have more fun at Mordicon today. See you. Bye bye. Oh, no, bye bye. We are going to the Q&A, of course. So for, for, sorry for that. Let's take a look at questions. Hmm. So this is about the audio issues. Uh, okay, I hope that has been fixed. If I've been talking in vacuum, then that's a problem. Sorry for that. Okay, this one is about contributing code. Um, let me try to, to, to translate. Um, the question is, isn't it a competitive advantage to have private code um, for clients and also for agencies? For clients, I totally get that point. If, if people run campaigns that they don't want their competition have access to, then we're probably probably not going to win that argument um, to, to say, hey, let's publish it anyway. There are many, many cases where it is fictional. It's, it's not like, like people will lose business because they're giving away their plugins or themes. But and sometimes they're hard to convince, I, I agree. For agencies, um, it's also very true that if we have a great plugin that other, others don't, or uh, not necessarily a plugin, maybe an add on, a different layer on top of or underneath Mordic, then that can, can give us an edge. Um, our, l let me explain to you our philosophy or our pledge. Um, things around, around Mordic, I think they, they, should stay where they are. They are not Mordic, um, and that's fine. That's really how people should differentiate from, from each other. That can be 
technology, there can be services, can be everything. Things in within Mordic, I think at, at least we we as a company, we as an agency say well, we are not keeping things back. If it's if we think it's of strategic value, then we will delay instead. We will wait, for instance, six months before we uh, publish a certain feature, and uh, within that month, uh, that six months, we will only give give access to our own clients. Maybe even have an early access program program like like with um, company data uh, plugin, but. I think that's a good mix to say, okay, we have, we have a certain period where we keep things private and then we give it back to Mordic. The other thing is uh, there's a chance that others come up with the same idea and that with the, if they publish first, then their solution is going to be gold, the gold standard. It may even be officially supported or whatever. And, then, and whatever you did and invest before is... Yeah, this is going to be private forever. So maybe it's a good idea. We've seen that before um, to talk about it and to to say, hey, there is something something coming down the pipe. We have it. Hey, clients, all come to us. We have it. Hey, community, you will get it in six months. Same strategy. Um, yeah, and maybe we can see more of that. Okay, more questions. Oh God, Ooh, that's a tricky one. Huh. Okay. Um, this is about security findings. Um, should we not have a security, an official security test for Mordic? Mm, I would love to have that. We, we actually had clients who did that. Mm, problem is that, that those clients who insist on having such a tiger team test, oh, uh, uh, black hat uh, test or, or security scan test, etc. Those clients are the larger ones. They are very security conscious. They will never allow uh, that test to be published. Sometimes there are some findings that are relevant and we can pipe it back into the Mordic team, but we can never say, hey, there was an official test um, and maybe a, a um, stamp or something on it, um, a certificate that Mordic is now officially secure. Secure. For one thing, never, nobody is ever going to guarantee that. Um, the other thing, again, it's, it's just privacy is issue of the larger corporations. So what can we do if we want to make sure or, or make it official or make, make it visible that Mordic has, has received some vetting? Uh, in the end, the only thing we could do is spend some actual money out of our own pockets, not from clients because they will not pay for it and make it public, public but out of the community's po uh, pocket, the crowdfunding or whatever. And I, I'm not so sure I want to spend, I, or I would want to spend that money at this point because we only have so so much resources, and we need to consciously uh, decide where to, where to use it. And maybe the money is better spent in other corners. I think the important message, though, is that whenever there are any security tests with Mordic, then the results are piped back into the development team. Huh, yeah, sorry for the complicated answer. Anything else? Um, I don't see any questions. Additionally, um, good. In that case, we're done with this track. Um, at least we're done with this session. The next slot in this track is not used. So you should rather go either get a lot of coffee and, and stay in this track or switch track for the next sessions. Have fun at Morticon. Talk to you later.